Dora might look like she's virtually being eaten alive, but this is coming to an end. She's not in here at night anymore. She feeds them for a short time after each of their four meals. And uh, she's still producing quite a lot of milk, so it's got to all stop in a few days. But, you know, they're, they're still benefiting a lot from this. And uh, she seems to be coping, just. <laughs> See how much they have grown. They're tremendous pups. And uh, they really are getting on well. The difference a week makes is phenomenal. <laughs> She's found something extra to clean up and wash. That little boy is so full he can't stand up yet. Oops, we've got a flare on the camera, sorry about that. Oops. I'll, sh I'll come off this shot because we're getting a flare from the light, but um, I'll show you some a little bit of footage taken earlier today. Okay, well, I've let the puppies out of their regular stable. Um, I just took the bars up and out they came tumbling. And they've got some toys which they've had in the stable. And with the concrete, these things roll around a bit more and I just thought we might get get them a bit more animated. It's rather like a child with a playpen. They do love a cardboard box as well to get in and sort of take possession of. And then pull them all over. Don't worry, it hasn't got any staples in it. Um, let's see who's going to be a retriever champion. <laughs> That's a little dog in the background there. And in fact, there's the other dog in the box. So that's the two boys. And they're getting pretty playful and undoubtedly would be very destructive if they all got together in your house at the moment, albeit only six inches from the ground. Oops. Amazing what a difference a week makes. I expect you'll be thinking it absolutely is. And they're feeding brilliantly, four good meals a day. And then Dora, as of two nights ago, she stopped going in with them at night. So they are only feeding from Dora after they've had a meal in a dish. So four feeds a day from Dora, and that is it, restricted. So they're not getting, you know, a really lot of milk throughout the night. And they're fine with that. I've been, I got up really early to feed them early in the morning and I literally had to wake them up. I mean, they, you imagine perhaps that their night is the same as their day and they play about a lot, but they don't. They do sleep for most of the night. And if I leave some food down for them, it's scarcely touched within six, six hours. But they're not wanting. He's certainly very fat when you pick them up. Look at him, that little dog standing over. Uh, the other dog, actually, that is, underneath. There's, the two smaller bitches are good buddies. It's funny, the litter does, they do split up and buddy up. Um, the two smaller bitches, as I say, they're great. There's this one little bitch here. Oops, I'm going to say hello there. She's a little treasure. And she was the smallest, but I think she's equal pegging now with the little one on the mat there. The one that's pulling the brown mat. There's another bitch that's got a white mark on her nose who's slightly leggier. 
very slightly leggier. I mean, at the moment, who knows if she will be, but I suspect she might be fractionally. She is a real live wire. Um, good luck to whoever has her. Very smart. There she is. Dragging the brown cloth. <laughs> Ever such a pretty little bit. She's got an unusual little white mark on her nose. There she is, that's right, turn to the camera. And she'll keep that just towards the end of her nose. There's a lot of the little thin white lines disappeared, but that won't. This is a very sturdy girl. She's beautiful when you stand her up, really lovely. She'll be a powerful little dog when she's done. A very pretty little face. She'll take, he's the biggest dog, he's the biggest in the litter, and she'll take him on. No problem at all. That's the one I was saying was the smallest of the bitches. Hey, hey, come along. Come on. <laughs> what are you doing then? Oh, yes, hello. Difficult when I say hello to them, they come right up and then we can't film them. But she's keeping a lovely white tail. I do like the little ones in the litter. I've had two of the, two of the smallest from litters. They've been cracking dogs. And it's funny, a couple of times over the years I've had people ring me up and say, I want the smallest in the litter. And they're not interested in whether it's a boy or a girl. They just feel that there's something special about the little one. Who knows if there is or not. But it's, I don't think it's ever a bad thing. So long as they're not small, weak, of course. Yeah. He stands nicely, that little dog. I've noticed that before. He'd go in a show ring, I'm quite sure. Not laying down though. <laughs> but I'm delighted with how they're coming on. Really super. 